This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat, but more on them later. Hey sugar stars, welcome back to my channel. ABC if you came here for my short and you're ready to see what Hello Kitty stuff I found in Hawaii. If you didn't know, Hawaii actually has so much Hello Kitty stuff. I flew all the way there for a small vacation and to buy all the Hello Kitty stuff that I could find. The first thing I did was go straight to the ABC store. ABC stores are special because they're only found in Hawaii. And I knew they had Sanrio stuff because last time I went there in 2020, I bought two Gouda Tama plushies from the ABC store. This time, I was so surprised. I did not expect to find so much Sanrio. So here is what I found. Upon entering the store, you can find a lot of Hawaiian souvenirs. And there's this one section of the store that is only Sanrio. This display was so big and cute. And this specific Hello Kitty stuff can only be found in Hawaii. It says right here, Hello Kitty and friends in Hawaii, ABC stores exclusive. So there were three plushie sections and one bag section. And here's everything that I saw there. There were big Sanrio plushies and little keychain versions. Here are the Hello Kitties. There's a bunch, so here we go. I'll first be introducing the little tiny keychain versions. First off, we have this Hello Kitty holding a license plate. It says, I love Hawaii. And fun fact, all the license plates in Hawaii do have that rainbow on it. And she is wearing a floral, a blue floral dress. And there's little stars on it. Next up, there was this Hello Hello Kitty with flowers in her hair. She has a clamshell top on with a little hula skirt, hula grass skirt. Oh, I forgot to mention all these Hello Kitties are tan. So all the Sanrio characters, they spent some time in the sun. So they will all be a different shade. And honestly, I love it. Me being brown, I feel seen. And all these are legitimate Sanrio products. It has the seal on the back. It says licensed by Sanrio on the tag. So they are legit. And then we have Hello Kitty in another cute little outfit. This one is pink and she has a lay on with a pink hibiscus flower. I really like this one because it was all pink. And most of them do say Hawaii written on them somewhere. So you remember where you bought it. And then the last Hello Kitty variation is this pineapple Hello Kitty. Someone was smart and was just like, let's just put Hello Kitty in a pineapple outfit and she'd be just really cute. I don't care if this isn't a real outfit. Is it a dress? Is it a shirt? I don't care, but it's so cute. She has a flower in her hair. and. It says Hawaii on the back. Here are all the Hello Kitty keychains together. They're so small. I could fit them all in my hand. And out of the four Hello Kitty keychains, I ended up taking, oh my gosh, guess who it is? The Hello Kitty pineapple home with me. She is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. <laughs> now we're going into the big plushies. Now with the big plushies, I was a little confused because I only had a hundred dollars to spend and I had to decide. It literally took me so long. I was sitting on the ABC store floor for like half an hour. Let me introduce to you Hawaii Karomi. She is wearing a purple grass skirt. She's holding a pink ukulele. She's about to jam out. She has a cute little flower accessory on and she also says Hawaii on the back. And I love this little Karomi artwork on the tag because she is tan. <laughs> and we can't forget my melody. Of course there was a my melody there. She is also holding a ukulele along with Karomi. Me. They should start a band together. She is wearing a little grass skirt. This time it's green. She has a red flower in her hair and she also says Hawaii on the back. There is also a different My Melody and this one was actually super cute too. Her eyes are different for this one. They're actually brown compared to the one where she's holding a ukulele. And I like the fact that she was holding a license plate. It says I love Hawaii on it. But I already have this Gudetama that says that's holding a license plate. So I actually didn't pick her up. I ended up going with the duo, the ukulele duo. They they match. They have to be together. Oh, and I did pick up the big version of Hello Kitty in that cute pink outfit. I gotta show you. She's right here. She's so cute. And I love the bottom. Like her feet, they're actually flat. It's like a hard plastic in here so she could possibly stand up. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! That is cute. That is adorable. Now for this next Sanrio character, I was really surprised because I did not expect to see him there. There is a Hawaiian Pachaco in the ABC store. Here he is. He is tanned after a full day of the sun. He's holding a ukulele and he has sunglasses on. This is so cute. I loved him so much. I'm so happy to see a Pachaco because he's rare. I think he's a very underrated character. I ended up getting him to- where is he? Pachaco. I ended up getting him to- Oh, and his little 
tails kind of poking out in the back. I didn't notice that when I was there, but of course I had to get him. And they were still selling the Gudetama plushies that I already have, but I just wanted to show you how they look like when they're brand new. And here are the big plushies next to the little plushies. Big Kuromi and little Kuromi next to each other, so cute. And here are the special Hello Kitty and Friends Hawaii bags. There are a few designs. There was this one with the license plate and all the characters and new, brand new art. Because look at Pom Pom Perrin. He got a tan as well, except he had his sunglasses on. So he got a silly little sunglass tan. Part of me wishes that they had a plushie of him, but they didn't. I actually don't see Cinnamoral on this on this bag either, but there is Kuropi. Kuropi does look a little bit darker. Oh, Pachaco though. Pachaco is a little, is a little burnt. And then there was this Hello Kitty playing a ukulele. Oh, this one's super cute. Very girly Hello Kitty on the bottom and it says Aloha up there. This Gudetama bag. He's like surfing with some pancakes. I love this. This is very cute. This is good for the Gudetama fans out there. Here I am just putting all of my purchases into the cart and my total ended up being <laughs> how much did i spend a hundred and five dollars and 75 cents <laughs> shout out to my mother because she bought all this for me <laughs> and since i spent so much they actually ended up giving me a free bag and of course i had to pick the hello kitty one i will be using this definitely hey i ended up with two really cute sanrio bags so the next day i checked out walmart but i only went there to eat mcdonald's the mcdonald's there is also different from where i live i live in california instead of pancakes hawaiian mcdonald's serves rice with their breakfast meals i got the local deluxe platter and it comes with a special sausage called pork Portuguese, Portuguese, Portuguese sausage and spam, and it was so good. Next, I went to go see a waterfall, and this waterfall was called the Rainbow Waterfall. And apparently, if you go during a sunny day, you could see a rainbow inside the waterfall. It wasn't sunny that day, so I didn't see any rainbows. But then I found this big giant tree, and this tree is called a banyan tree. It's hollow inside. It looks really spooky, but it was really cool. Afterwards, I went to a supermarket only found in Hawaii called KTA Supermarkets. I thought their slogan was really cute. It compliments you before you even enter the store. And I happened to find some Sanrio stuff there. My special superpower is that I can spot Hello Kitty from really far away. So I ran inside and I found them. These plushies were really unique and I knew they were official because they had the special Sanrio sticker. One of them had the cutest eyes with hearts in the middle and there was also one carrying a heart and there was one with a heart on her ears and a heart inside her bow. I didn't take any home but I did take these strawberry marshmallows home. <laughs> This wasn't Hello Kitty, I'm sorry, but they look so yummy. I think Hello Kitty would approve. I looked in the toy section there, the blind box section. I found no Hello Kitty, but this next food I found is Hello Kitty. Can you guys try and guess what it is? I found Hello Kitty chicken noodle soup. Let's actually try it out right now. It says ready in three minutes, but I gotta go boil some water. So in the meantime, let's eat these marshmallows. Here they are. I can't read what it says. <gasps> and they come individually wrapped. Oh my gosh. You know how I feel about cute packaging. I just can't bring myself to destroy this. Mmm. Mmm. The filling. Oh, that is good. I need to have another. I love traveling to different places because I get to see what kinds of special food they have there. Speaking of special food, this video is sponsored by our favorite Japanese snack box, Tokyo Treat. Spring is almost over in Japan, but you can still get a taste of the Sakura season from the comfort of your own home. This month, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. are inviting you to join in on the Yozakura experience, which is the Japanese tradition of viewing cherry blossoms at night. This month's theme for Tokyo Treat is Sakura Starlight Snack Fest. The beautifully designed Design cherry blossom box contains exclusive and seasonal snacks that won't be available once spring is over. The Yozakura experience is the perfect way to celebrate the end of spring and immerse yourself in the beauty of the Sakura season. But time is running out, so order your box now before it's too late. Look at this box. They stuffed it full. I love the aesthetic of this box. It's so cute. Each box also comes with a booklet so you can learn more about the snacks you receive as well as allergen information. I love these so much. I've only been to Japan 
once. And the last time I went, I got 20 of these, literally. Oh my gosh, I love these too. These are so addicting. I've never seen this flavor before, but I was really surprised. Banana and caramel are actually so good together. Like, I never expected that. If you subscribe for a year using my discount code, you get a special and unique box every single month. Every month is a surprise. I think the Hello Kitty soup is done. Let's go try it. This looks so good. Look at that. Look at the little chickens. They're all wearing bows like Hello Kitty. Oh, it's hot. <sighs> wow. Ooh, this is so good. This is so much better than cup ramen. The noodles are so soft. I think it was because of that oil packet. Cup ramen don't have no oil packet. Hello Kitty has done it again. 10 out of 10. So after I got all that food from the supermarket, I ate from my pineapple. It was actually a smoothie, but they put it inside a pineapple. Like they use the pineapple as a cup. And fun fact, pineapples have been a symbol of Hawaii for a very long time. A lot of pineapples were grown and sold from Hawaii and it made Hawaii really famous for their pineapple. The next day I went to a garden and this place was called the Tropical Botanical Garden of Hawaii. And another fun fact, this garden was actually so trashy before someone bought the land and decided to make it beautiful again. I saw so many interesting plants. My favorite were these ones called cat whiskers. Do they look like cat whiskers to you? They do to me. They're so cute. I saw a bunch of plants that were native to Hawaii and some that were brought to Hawaii, like this plant from the Philippines. And then there was this big statue made from a special type of wood called koa. And this guy's name is Ku and he's a Hawaiian god. I saw a lot of pretty flowers like these orchids. And there was this wishing well, my sister had a couple pennies, so I made a wish with her. There are even tiny pineapples growing there. They're so small. And this garden was right next to the beach, so I got to see the ocean peeking through the flowers. After the garden, I went Sanrio hunting again, but this time not in a store. It was at an outdoors farmer's market. And I was so surprised to see Sanrio there, but I somehow had a feeling I just had to look really carefully. Oh my gosh. I first found this box full of plushies. I was actually not planning to buy a plushie that wasn't Hello Kitty, but I made an exception for this guy. He looks like a knockoff Squishmallow, but he is a pineapple bear playing the ukulele. I love him so much. He still needs a name, so comment below any name suggestions for him. In the next booth over, I saw a bunch of hair accessories, and there was a small handwritten sign that said Sanrio, and I was like, Sanrio? I dug through the bin, and I found the cutest Sanrio hair accessories ever. Ever. Look at this claw clip. It has so many Sanrio characters. I just realized it doesn't have Hello Kitty, but it does have Koromi and my Melody, Pachaco, Cinnamoral, and Pom Pom Pudin. And I definitely bought this one. Oh, this costs $8. That's kind of expensive. Here it is out of the packaging. Oh, oh I have to be careful. I don't want to break it. It was $8. Wow. A little squeaky, but dang it cute wow and then there are these ones they were so simple and so cute i didn't get one though because i already bought the the claw clip i want i just wanted one claw clip but i did get these though they were tiny clips with sanrio characters and these were so cute they're really good if you want to put your bangs up on both sides and there was my melody pom pom parin and cinnamoral and guess which ones i got cinnamoral these are so cute i love these so much and i'm so glad i found these and they're so unique unique too. Like they almost look handmade. I just love hunting in small places because you never know what you're going to find. But what happens next will shock you. After the farmer's market, we were walking to our next location and on the ground, I found something. You know how I said I have a superpower for finding Hello Kitty? Well, I found one on the floor. I picked her up and she looked like an old Hello Kitty keychain. She was dusty and crusty. I told my mom, and she said, you should take her home. But I felt bad because maybe someone had lost her, but she looked like she was on the ground for a really long time. So I think it was time for me to give her a new home. And if you see my short, you know that I gave her a makeover head to toe. Here she is now. She looks amazing and I'm so glad she can live with me now. After that, I saw a dog. 
<laughs> good. He barked at me. And then I went to a beach. I took Pineapple Hello Kitty with me and took some cute pics with her. And then I went to Walmart again. And this time I did find Hello Kitty, but I could not buy her. And this is why. This Hello Kitty in particular was a Hello Kitty food truck. It was amazing. I wanted it so badly, but I could not fit this food truck into my luggage sad. My trip was almost over, so I walked one mile to another ABC store. Some ABC stores sell different stuff, so I had a feeling I might find more Sanrio stuff here, and they were. I found these really cute Sanrio keychains that weren't at the first ABC store. These ones were $4.99, and these fancier ones were $7.99. But here are the $4.99 ones. This one has the Hawaii license plate and a bunch of Sanrio characters. I was surprised to see Kiropi here because there wasn't a matching Kiropi plushie or a pom Pumper in. Or a cinnamon roll plushie. Why wasn't there cinnamon roll? Then there was this one with Hello Kitty and my Melody. They about to go surfing. I didn't know they could surf. They're so talented. Then there was this Hello Kitty holding a pineapple. There was also a Hello Kitty with a Hawaiian flower and then a tan Hello Kitty surfing with a cute little turtle. And there was this Hello Kitty with a hula outfit and the Hawaii Islands. Oh, and there was this other license plate one with just the girlies. This would be so cute to get your girly squad. Oh my gosh. Imagine matching Sanrio keychains? That's cute! Moving on to these fancier keychains. These were $7.99. The difference with these is that they have tiny charms on them. This tan Hello Kitty has a turtle, pineapple, and flower charm. This one is Gudetama with a hang loose turtle and pineapple charm. And here is my Melody! with a flower, turtle, and pineapple. This one is surfing Hello Kitty with some charms. This one is so cute, I love her outfit. And then this one is similar to the other keychain design. This one is also very similar, but there are tiny Karomi and Kiropi charms. Karomi's fit on this is just so cute. And then there was this one, Hello Kitty and Karopi, and then My Melody and Karomi as the charm. Look at Karomi surfing. Oh my gosh. I didn't end up getting a keychain because I don't have any keys. The last thing I did on this trip was get a genuine Hawaiian shaped ice. This was lychee and passion fruit flavored with popping boba. So good. It was There was also vanilla ice cream in the middle and strawberry bits. And then I also got this ube latte. I love ube flavor stuff. Ube so good. And now I am here and back home. Comment below. I want to know where is the most interesting place you found Hello Kitty at. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye. Have a great day.